Hello, my name is Moving Cat, and welcome back to yet another video on the St. Patrick's Day event. I know you're probably sick of these already, but I do have one more thing I want to talk about, and that is this minimum cost upgrade plan. So here, you simply get each of the managers to level 1. So in this video, I want to share uh, the plan I made for it, how to quickly get through this town, and then I will also go over some scenarios of why you might want to do this, where this can be a good idea for you. So, first of all, let's quickly go through the plan. Now, as I said, you simply get all of the managers to level 1, which means that you're basically saying, I'm not going to be focusing on tasks at all. You will be able to complete a few early on, but you will soon be blocked because you can't progress, uh, because you don't have high enough uh, manager levels. So, with these managers here, you can complete 11, 8 or 7 tasks in the 3 towns, uh, which is not a lot, so yeah, you're basically saying I'm not focusing on tasks at all when going for this. Uh, in terms of how long it'll take, it'll take a little bit under two days. Uh, so two days is probably a good estimate. You can do it in just below one day and 22 hours. But with sleep and all of that, yeah, two days is probably a good estimate. So what is the plan? Now the main difference between this plan and all the other plans is that you don't have to worry about which levels you get all of these buildings to because, again, you're not focusing on tasks at all. So that means that, pretty much, with one exception here, uh, you only focus on one production building at the time. So when you move up a production building, or when you have unlocked a production building, you're no longer adding to the uh, previous production buildings that you unlock. Uh, so, yeah, with one exception of hats here early on. Uh, the start of this plan is the same as all of the other plans. Uh, then you get cake a few levels, festival and shipyard, level those. Uh, level cake again, some more levels, more levels in festival and shipyard. And then you get drinks, and from here on, as you can see, you're not touching cake anymore. And as well, after you got cake, you were not touching flowers or hats again anymore. Uh, so that's really as simple as it is. Uh, after getting drinks, you level shipyard a few levels to front load a little bit. I did talk about this in my previous video, but what you're doing here is that you are uh, stockpiling a lot of shamrocks on the collection side of the river, which means that when you've gotten the festival to 200, uh, the leveling from of the shipyard from 178 to 200 will be a lot shorter. Uh, so even though the shipyard does transport more than the festival can collect, it does help, it does speed things up a little bit by first going some levels in Shipyard and then the festival. Uh, it doesn't matter early on in the early levels, uh, but in the later levels it does matter, and that's what you can see here. So, again, after I've gotten these to 200, I unlock the fireworks, and here I'm not touching drinks anymore. I'm not even getting into level 25 because it is not necessary. Uh, then, when I level up my festival in Shipyard again, first go a few levels in Shipyard to again stockpile some uh, shamrocks, and then festival, and then shipyard. Uh, after that, fireworks are 25. Again, you don't have to worry about drinks, it uh, doesn't uh, matter, uh, or you will actually lose a little bit of time because it's not necessary. Uh, anyways, after this, you first get a few levels in the festival, actually, uh, only a few. Uh, saved a minute or two, I think, so not a big deal, but yeah, a few levels. And then, again, front load on the shipyard, get a lot of levels there and then go back to festival all the way, which will make the final levels up to the shipyard quicker. And then after that, you simply get fireworks to level 50, which you need in order to produce enough shamrocks. And here, you simply wait until you have collected the 8.4 you need to move on to the next town. That step, the waiting time for collecting, I believe it will take around 11 hours, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, and again, in total, just below two days. So this is the plan, now why would you want to do this? Uh, let us let me first of all talk about my scenario. So I am currently towards the end of my ninth town. I'm going for 10 towns in each of these cities, uh, but as you can see, at the time of recording at least, I still have 7, almost 8 days remaining. So I do have a lot of time uh, to do additional towns. Uh, so yeah. My original plan was to go three, uh, one more town in each of these cities here. You can see that I, in order to get the next upgrade kit, I need uh, three more uh, tasks here and then another 25, so 28 tasks in total. 
that is easily completed in my next town. Uh, but as you can see, I do actually have a few uh, more tasks. I've done a few more tasks than I needed to. So I have saved some tasks uh, or done a few more tasks here and there. That means that I don't actually need the full 33, which I get in the next town. Uh, I only need 28 of those. Uh, and that means that instead of doing one town, what I could do is that I could do three of the minimum cost towns. Uh, so if you go back to the spreadsheet here, uh, the cost for this is 190. So three of those will be 570 pots. If we compare that to town one, which is my 10th town, uh, that uh, costs 620 pots. So here I'm saving 50 pots. That uh, in and of itself is not that big of a deal. Uh, now in terms of the number of tasks I complete, I complete 26 by going for this. So I do need 28, but going for 26 is more than enough. Uh, in my, what will that be? In my 13th town, I can simply do these two quick tasks here. Don't even need any managers if, it, if I'm willing to click for a little bit. Uh, so those will easily be, be completed in yet another town, which means that by completing these three towns, I will have enough tasks to get this next upgrade kit here. Uh, so that is an alternative, and why would I want to do that? Uh, well, the reason is that you get more towns to buy boxes from, and the early boxes are cheaper, which means that you get, or you do, of course, get one free box in every town, but also you could do it by more than one if you buy, for example, two or three, that is much cheaper if, uh, than going for you know, four or five boxes. So if you buy three in each of these three towns, that is nine boxes, but you have only spent, what is that, 450 pots. So you get a lot more boxes, much cheaper if you do more towns. Uh, so that is one reason why you might want to do this. Uh, now in this world specifically, on the right side here, I do need to buy all six boxes from one of the towns. Uh, so that means that I, yeah, I might have to do that after this ninth town here. And if that is the case, then I will simply wait here, do the original plan, do, uh, do 10 towns. But on the left side here, I don't need to buy six out of six boxes. So here, as you can see, I don't have a lot of uh, pots left. So, uh, but I only need 190 for the next one, which means that I do have enough to start on my 10th uh, town. Uh, do a slow and steady with only level one, one managers and then slowly continue there as I pick up uh, Shamrocks from the event quests. I'm not quite caught up yet, but I do believe this is the last one. Uh, so yeah, that's another reason if you are low on pots, this will allow you to spread out the towns or because you need less for each town, you have time to get more pots from quests as they pop up, as the, you get more there. Uh, so that's another reason. Now, a third reason why you might want to do this uh, is that if you have completed your original plan and you are pretty much done with the event, uh, then what you can do if you want to is that you can simply start on a new town, uh, do it as ch cheaply as possible, and then whatever remaining pots you have, you can spend those after the town. Uh, so it's a nice way to get some additional rewards towards the end of the event when you are done with your main goal, with your main strategy. Uh, or it can be an alternative for your last town, doing three of these instead of one of the original uh, plan. So that's a few scenarios where this might be useful. So I will think I will leave it there. So you can find the plan here in my spreadsheet under my advanced building upgrade guide all the way at the bottom. Uh, I have also upgraded these uh, or updated these a little bit uh, since my last video. Nothing too major. Uh, but I've tweaked a few numbers here and there, this one down, I think, this one up, and so on. So uh, a few differences here uh, from my last video, but nothing major there. Uh, so yeah, this will be linked in the description if you want to see it. And I think I will leave the uh, uh, end the video there. But before I do, I would like to thank my Patreons for supporting me and my content. I would like to thank Comstar, Ford Prefect, Lorden, Rock and Robin, Kim Cayley, Joshua Clark, Merrick V, Arkler, Hugo Count von Count, Jan Fredriksen, Truth the Generous, Filda, Rush, Susan Weiss, Mega Rock, Rocco, Henrik Dagelhaber, Mattia, Optree the Obsessed, Wrath, and Kim. Thank you all very much for your support. Thanks for watching, take care, and I will see you in the future.